welcome. Today's read aloud is gonna be a little bit different. We're not even gonna read a book. We're gonna learn another responsibility or job. Can you say responsibility? Right, we're gonna learn about how it is your responsibility to respect or take care of our books because you have to take care of your books at home and then when we go to Petrosky, you're gonna have to take care of our books there too because if we don't respect our books, they're gonna get ruined and they'll tear and they'll get stepped on and oh, look at Ms. Wolaszczak. She would not be able to function. She would be so sad if we didn't have any books. So it's our responsibility to learn how to respect our books. If you hear me, can you say, I can do it? Great job. Now we went over how to read a book yesterday, okay? But let us go over it one more time. So remember, the first thing you do is choose a book from the bookshelf. Now remember, I don't have a bookshelf here, but you might have a bookshelf at home. Do you have a bookshelf at home? Okay, perfect. So what you're gonna do is even if you don't have a bookshelf, you're going to nicely pick up a book, right? Look how kind I was. I respected my book. I didn't yank it or pull it or drag it. Look at Miss Velasquez. She kindly put her fingers on it and pulled it into her body. Then you're gonna find a seat. So you're gonna find a book and find a seat. You can go on the couch, you can go on the floor, wherever you feel most comfortable reading a book. You're gonna open the book with respect. Say, respect. And you're gonna have to turn the pages with respect. And that's how you read the book. Now remember, my friends, it is our responsibility to practice this so that we respect our books at all times so that they are taken care of, okay? So remember, when you grab a book, you have to hold it so nicely, whoop, and so gently, because it is precious. It is so beautiful to be able to have a book in your hand. So remember, you always grab at the corner and you softly turn the pages, and you Read, 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 and softly tear, uh, turn the pages. And you read, 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 and softly turn the pages. And when I'm done, do I slam it shut? Ooh, ooh, devastation. You want to close it nicely and hold it with respect because you just took care of that book and kept it in its great, great, happy space. Now, one thing we need to talk about that you'll get more of an experience at school, but you might experience this at home. What if you're reading a book and then you finish it and someone wants to read it? What do you think you should do? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think that it's pretty good that we share. Can you say share? Say sharing is caring. Great job. Now, if someone wants to read the book, should you just say no? That would be Miss Wolaszczak's face if you said that. What'd you say? That's what she would say. No, you don't want to be, be a devastation. You want to share. That's showing your friends respect, your teacher respect, and your book with respect because you're taking care of these things and you're being kind by sharing your book. So if somebody in your house wants to read a book, you should just what? Share. Very good. Now, what are some other things that you can share? Think about that. What are some other things that you can share at home or at school? I want you to comment below answering that question, okay? What are some other things that you can share at home or at school?